everybody. Uh, welcome to today's Wicked Lick of the Day. Uh, today we're doing number 32, and so what I wanted to do was focus on uh, one of my favorite guitar players. His name is Dan Spitz from Anthrax. Um, when I was younger, I was a huge, 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 he was a huge influence on me. So what I wanted to do today was look at a song that has always been part of my playlist for building chops, and it's Antisocial by Anthrax. So I want to show you the beginning of this, and then you'll be able to download the jam track. I made a drum track for you, um, and then you'll get be able to get the tab and everything like that. If you go to igpa.org slash wickedlick slash 32, okay? So make sure that you go there and grab the uh, tab, grab the jam track, or um, I have the tab in both PDF and Guitar Pro. So here is the riff that we're going to be looking at today. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, so uh, this lick is is the beginning of antisocial. This is the verse part, actually. Um, and what makes it really neat is that the pattern itself is pretty repetitive, but it gives you a prime opportunity to really work on your down picking, which is pretty cool. So what we're going to be doing, let me run through the chords real quick here. You're going to be playing a D power chord on the fifth string. So I'm going to be at the fifth fret on the fifth string here, playing a power chord. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add on the pinky. Instead of being on the seventh fret of the fourth string, you're going to go to the eighth fret of the uh, fourth string with your pinky. Now you can just leave your third finger there and it will be just fine. Okay? So what you're creating there is what we call an augmented chord, which has a really cool sound. Then what you're going to do is you're going to move down to the third fret and make a power chord right there on the fifth string. And then you end by just simply going to an A power chord, a D power chord, and an A power chord. Okay, now let me show you what happens here. Let's just look at the first pattern over this D chord, and it looks like this. That's the main pattern. Okay, so when you get the tab, you're going to be able to see that you're going. So right there, you've got two palm mutes, two palm mutes, and then one palm mute. Okay, now let me play the second half of that. So when the second half comes up, you have two palm mutes, two palm mutes, and then you're actually going to strum three times. Okay? Hey, good to see everybody out there. Okay, then when you drop down the pinky to make this augmented chord, okay, this sharp five, if you will, you're going to do the same idea. Okay, but the very end of it changes. Now listen very carefully. I'm going to play from the beginning. You had three right there. Right now we're going to go. Okay, so what happens is, is when you're on this five and, on, and uh, eight here, you're going to do the normal first part. Okay. But the second half goes, uh, let me play the two together. Here we go. So you're going to go. So there's only one palm mute. So he changes it up there. And then right away you're going to dive down into that C. See that? So I have. Here we go. Now, once you do that strum, uh, you come from. Now, right there, you're going to just start the pattern all over again. Then you're going to go to A, and you're going to go. 
Hey everybody, it's good to see you're on here uh, watching. I appreciate you all showing up. This is awesome. So let me roll through it again. Remember, the one that's different is when you do the augmented chord, the five and the eight. That's the one that changes. Okay, so we have the first pattern. With three strums at the end. Now we're gonna do. And now I'm gonna do the same thing. And then I'm gonna go to A. So now, I don't want to waste your time. I know some of you are at work and driving or whatever it is that you're doing and keeping your eyes on the road, by the way. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the whole thing together nice and slow so you can see it. So this one, this this whole thing right now is going to go out to Adam Hoffman, uh, one of my great, great friends in Midot, North Dakota. Uh, so this one is going to be dedicated from Methuselah to Adam. Adam, I love you, buddy. So here we go. Okay, now, when I get to the end of this... I do, an, I do a strum, instead of doing the whole thing down at the very end, the, I call it release. What happens is, is at the very end of this, it, it gives me a half a second to let my wrist kind of get back in motion for the next four minutes of this song. So watch, when I come off... Then it lets me get back in. Okay, so this thing's running, whether you look at it as being 100 or 200 beats per minute, that's what it's doing. So it's pretty darn fast. And then you head back, okay? So, guys, this is a really fun song. So make sure you check out uh, Guitar Zoom. Uh, if you haven't already checked out IGPA, go to IGPA.com. Uh, and if you don't have the tablature, uh, Tom was nice enough to, to put it in the, uh, the link here or in the uh, thread so you can find it in here. So everybody take care. Uh, practice hard. Have a wonderful day. And uh, keep smiling, all right? Take care, everybody. Hi there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I certainly hope that it helped you a little bit. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please do me a huge favor and either like it, subscribe to the channel, share it, or comment on it, okay? That's gonna help us out enormously. Um, and then we can keep in contact with you when we have new material that comes out. And if you uh, enjoyed the video, we've got some other videos over here that you can watch that might be able to help you on your guitar journey as well. And if you look up on the top there, you're gonna see there's a little eye up there. If you click on that, we are gonna be giving you a free gift just to say thank you for watching the video. Um, and then if you'd like to follow us on social media, you can use the term at GuitarZoom and you can find us there, all right? So take care, keep practicing, and have a great day.